Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. This video is about Maven Run Cucumber Test. And it's very easy when you know how to do it, but it was, uh, yeah, I wasted a lot of time actually uh, searching the internet for this. And it was actually the reason why I am giving you this video right now was because there was uh, someone that wrote in the comments that he could not make uh, the Cucumber Test Run with the Maven. Uh, Maven, uh, Maven run test command, or just uh, the Maven test command, and um, yeah, and of course, then uh, that got me interested in this. So uh, first of all, yeah, I'll show the I'll show the solution because it's very simple to begin with, um, and it's it's really annoying because there are some very good there are some uh, there are some cucumber tutorials out there. There's a lot actually, but the, most of them are wrong. Most of them need a one more step. And that is the step that I'm going to show right now because um, we need to add the vintage engine. So if you're stuck right now, you can actually just stop this video. But I'll, I'll explain to you why uh, we need the vintage, uh, the JUnit vintage uh, en engine. But you can actually just start, stop the video, copy these lines right here, and uh, probably when you see this video, this version is something newer than 591, and you can find the vintage versions out on Maven repository right here. And then you can go to JUnit vintage engine. And then you can find the, the the latest and greatest. This one is from the 20th of, of September to 2022, uh, right here. But the reason why we need it, and um, and I've also, of course, I have uh, tweaked and created something really cool. So hang on if you want to see something fun and cool. Um, so the the way the reason re the reason why we need that engine is because we use this one with in the, in the cucumber test runner. This is actually the uh, this is the runner that actually decides that uh, yeah that we should run with cucumber and it is also where we define where where are all of our features uh, located so this is just one um, cucumber test runner usually you would just have one cucumber test runner but you can have multiple of these if if you want to um, the, or uh, yeah, yeah, I think you can have multiple. Uh, no, I uh, blah blah. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, I think you will actually only have one of these because you can. This is an array right here with the features, and if you have multiple folders, you will just mention those uh, folders uh, right here. But yeah, but I think you can have multiple uh, of these. But I haven't tried it yet. Uh, but that's that's not the point. Then we have something with plugin right here. This is just a default plugin uh, called Pretty. Uh, it's not important. You could actually just leave this one out blank. Then we have the glue. This is important right here. The glue is where you have to find how to run your tests, and that is very important. So I have a package named, and you you point to the package. So that is also important. You can have many step definitions. You can have many um, glue classes, but you point to the the package that, where you have your glue inside. And I have my glue right here, cucumber my steps. That is my glue. And I could have created a new class where I had this uh, at Cucumber context configuration and at Spring Boot test that I have right here. I could have placed that on another class. I actually had, I did that to begin with, but I want to simplify my whole projects um, because I was debugging and I did not know what was wrong. So I was just trying to to make make it as, as simple as possible. One thing you need though is you need this. Uh, you need to set web environment to random port, or else you would not get the whole web context up and running when you run your your Cucumber tests i have already i've created one annotation right here at local server port this means that spring boot will actually uh, will actually inject the the port um, into this in, into my test into my steps right here when i start up my cucumber when i start up my cucumber test so that's quite cool of course you can as usual you can use auto wired and then you can uh, wire in if you want need a service or if you need a component or a controller or whatever um, you could also hit, of course, your, um, your application from the outside. That means that you will actually reach endpoints. And, and uh, that is actually the example that I showed you in the last video that you could um, you could use the REST template like this. And then you actually re then you actually hit your application from the outside in and you, you will actually um, uh, you know, reach your application just like your clients would re re reach your application. Um, there's both strengths and also downsides in doing this. Um, but uh, the, the strength is that you actually you test your application and you test your application just like your your consumer, your users, or your client would would would, would test this backend application right here. So yeah, so that that was uh, so that is the setup. It's it's quite a, it's quite simple. We have we need these two uh, lines right there: a cucumber uh, context configuration, so we can use the Spring uh, injection, and we also need to say that we want the Spring uh, web application up and running when we are uh, running uh, with our tests. 
And the other thing was this one with right here, and it, it, it needed the engine, but the, the error, there was no errors actually. When, whenever you, I ran uh, Maven uh, tests, then I did not get any uh, tests run. Um, so there was just no errors at all. Yeah. I have these, t um, and by the way, you can actually, if you go to your test runner, then you can right click on your test runner, and then you can press run the test runner. And then it will run all of these uh, tests that you have inside these folder right here, inside the feature folders right here, and it's actually running right now. And it looks quite nice right here. We get the, the 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 logical description right here. Fails on purpose. The only thing is that right now fails on purpose. It does not fail. Um, let us just change that. That is because uh, yeah. Let us change this. We expect a response code three hundred. That's wrong. We will get a two hundred for my application. So this means that this test will now fail always. Then it's easier to run and see that something actually happens. So now fails on pur uh, purpose. Yes, now that is uh, yellow because it, um, it 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 failed. This this uh, the response code is actually two hundred, but we expect three hundred. So now let us go down to Maven again uh, because I added something cool. I promise you something cool. And the cool part right here is that instead of of running all of your uh, cucumber tests along with your normal test or along with your Spring Boot test, along with your J unit test, then you can actually make them run as. Um, as integration tests instead. So if you run them, if, if you run them as integration tests, then you would actually reach life, the lifecycle uh, uh, named uh, integration test instead. And that is just before verify. So it means that they will only run when you run verify. And when you run your test, then um, then th those the cucumber test will not be run. That means, and this is just cool because then you can decide what what kind of test that is that is that you want to run. Do you want to run the the cucumber tests or the Spring Boot test and the JUnit test? Actually, I do not have any Spring Boot test or genuine test uh, right here. It should say zero, I think. Um, it should, I should, it should, it should say zero. But of course, I could just add on a bunch of those. Um, that's, and how did I set this up? Yes, how did I set this up? So I could actually wait with uh, and use the integration test instead. That I set this up with the uh, with the Surefire plugin. Uh, right here and that's actually also one thing you need so to the people that uh, came back to this video because i said in the beginning that there was not enough with the vintage engine then yes I, I i cheated you you have to watch my videos so the end because you also need the you also need the surefire plugin uh, i did not do that on purpose I'm, I'm sorry you need the vintage engine and you also need the surefire plugin you need those two and the cool thing about the, the Surefire plugin is that we can actually configure it. So the Surefire plugin is, um, is, is JUnit related. So this means that uh, here I can say that which test that I want to run. This means it has a configuration part right here. Um, there's a test source uh, directory right here. And then I can say that I want to exclude all of my uh, Cucumber test runners. So this means that if I had multiple test runners for Cucumber, then I could just add them right here with a pattern or also just one by one. And then we have something called executions, and this is really, really interesting. If you haven't, did, uh, if you haven't looked into executions yet, and the um, and the, the Surefire plugin, please do so because it, it actually opens up a lot of possibilities if you want to separate your your integration test uh, and maybe also your your end to end test from your, your regular test. Then you, this is exactly why you can do that. Um, so I have to find one execution here. I could have multiple executions, but I just have one execution right here. I've named that ID integration tests and then I have one goal right here this is the test so we are still running the test goal uh, so we're still running the test goal but we are configuring it to the uh, it so we are including we are including the cucumber file here and this means that um, this will be run on, at the phase integration test. So when we come to the phase integration test, then this will be triggered. We will run the um, we will run the test goal. That is that is what we will run, and we will configure to run with the cucumber test runner .java that I have right here. I will push all of this code as usual to GitHub because this is actually um, this is one of the more uh, important repositories now I would say because this is actually a working example of um, Cucumber that can be run with Maven and it, it can be run with the uh, it only runs when you come to the uh, integration uh, test uh, phase and this is uh, just before uh, verify so this means that when I run, run, run if I run test as you saw before then everything's green because my Cucumber test has not been uh, run but if I run verify, then we come to the um, integration tests phase, and then we then, then uh, the cucumber test has been run, and we get an error. 
And we can go see what what's, uh, what was error. Where, where did we get the problem? The problem was right here. I can hold control and then I can click and get into my test and then of course fix the test or fix the code. Um, yeah, it um, sometimes it's the test that actually uh, that, that is wrong and sometimes it's the code that is wrong. Of course, most of the time it's the code that is wrong. So of course we will uh, we will fix our code. I will upload this um, code right away and. Um, Thank you to the person that wrote me uh, on uh, on my YouTube channel. Actually, I forgot who you are, and of course, I should have made a shout out to you. Um, yeah, just one more thing, actually, just one more thing. I want to make a shout out. There was one person. I was actually uh, through a lot of articles, and there was uh, still, there was more than one that actually had the solution. But the, I would say this guy right here. Uh, check him out. Uh, check out his channel, Shane Lee. Uh, shout out to you, Shane Lee. That was where the the, the final uh, the final piece actually uh, fell into place when I watched your video. So thank you very much uh, for that, Shane Lee. And that's actually it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hope to see you again soon. Have a great evening. Bye bye.